raise awareness for the issue of hunger in our community. And it is a grave issue, and one that ShopRite feels very passionately about. In fact, it's the core focus of our charitable giving. Thirteen years ago, we started ShopRite Partners in Caring with a $1 million donation to food banks. Little did we know that the program would still be needed 13 years later, and in this year, we're donating $3 million to the food banks, so the need is so much greater. But we're very fortunate because ShopRite Partners in Caring has within it the word partners. And we do have partners in this fight against hunger. Um, we partner with the food banks who are on the front lines of the fight against hunger with all of the 1,700 charities that we support through the program. We're partners with General Mills. The General Mills uh, organization very graciously allows us every single year to take a Cheerios box and honor our ShopRite Associates efforts in the fight against hunger. So let's give General Mills a big hand. We have with us some representatives of General Mills today. We have Tony Pilari, we have Russ Tindall, and Jim Wysocki. Thanks for being here, guys. And from our food bank, we have Helene Meisner up right here in the front, and Janet Gray. Thank you so much for coming. And then the third partner is the ShopRites. The ShopRite stores, the ShopRite associates, the ShopRite owners. For those of you who don't know, ShopRites are owned and operated by families. And in fact, we currently have 47 families that own the 250 ShopRite stores in these six states along the Northeast Coast, from Connecticut to Maryland. This store, as many of you know, is owned by the Kalalillo family, and I know that you know um, how gracious and generous they are to the community. So let's give the Kalalillos a big hand. And we have with us some members of the Kalalillo team. We have um, Paula Boss. Elisa is uh, new to the Colorado team. Welcome. And let's give a big hand to our store manager, Rob. And I know we all want to give it up for Kim. Come on, let's hear it. Kim, I've been coming here for years and years and years now, every single year, and you're just, uh, you know, you're a soul. You're here, you're always uh, engaged, and it's, it's really wonderful that you care so much. So thank you so much. Rob, uh, you know, we, it, we know that it takes a great leader to make something like this happen, to raise the kind of funds that you do, to have your store on this box year after year after year in the top uh, stores. So top five again. <laughs> So thank you so much, and of course, thank you to all of the ShopRite Associates. You guys are amazing. Um, again, year after year after year, the passion. Give yourselves a big hand. So here we are, the Cheerios Contest, once again. And I think we're having a party down here, huh? Yeah, good. Uh, two parties in one store. Uh, so, we're here to honor the efforts of the entire store, but we know we can only choose two people to be on the box because we have 45 ShopRite stores on that box. And this year, we challenged the stores to raise more money, and they were challenged by Mr. Colorillo, who is the chairman, um, to raise a million dollars in the fight against hunger. And as you can see, they made it happen. So let's have a big hand for that. Woo! Shop right
quarters raised a million dollars in the fight against hunger. So without further ado, I am going to ask Rob and Kim to unveil the box. Woo! Let's have a drum roll. All right. The million dollars in suit. Thank you so much. And if I may, excuse me, I'm just going to read up here. And it says, ShopRite Partners and Karen. Join us in congratulating our ShopRite associates who raised $1 million for ShopRite Partners and Caring, a program dedicated to fighting hunger in our local communities. The ShopRite Partners and Caring program has donated more than $27 million to stock local food banks. And you can learn more about ShopRite Partners and Caring at shopritepartnersandcaring.org. You can learn about the different agencies, the food banks, and how we fight hunger. So now, let's bring up our two uh, wonderful winners. So, Bill Mahdi and Rob. Rob, you will, uh, okay. Congratulations, Sue. You've been on the box a lot. A lot of time coming. Third one that you're on, but I know you have also been very, very engaged. So thank you so much for all of your hard work. The leader of the pack, here she is. <laughs> and Gilmati, you're new to the box, but congratulations to you. And uh, it, it's wonderful to see someone, to see someone young like you engaged in the fight against hunger. So congratulations. And at this point, I'm going to turn the mic over to Rob. To Rob, oh, Kim's going to uh, say a few words. Thank you, Kim. I guess the few words that I have to say is I want to thank Sue. Every year, she's the person that really pushes the store to get involved and raise the money. Um, she does a great job. Actually. Um, Rob also has come up with the idea of having a golf tournament, which has uh, raised a lot of the money for us. So thank you to Rob too, also. But you know, Sue, and Sue really pushes all the people in the store. Even though I know a lot of people probably want to be involved, but don't get involved. But this year, maybe everybody can get involved and raise a lot more money. That would be great. And thank you to Norwest Cap. They always come through and help us out whenever we ask. You know. They come through and they help us out whenever we need anything. So thank you guys for always being there for us. She said it all. Just thank you very much for all your effort. Sue starts it, but we have a lot of people that help out. A lot of people do a lot of things in the store to make us the best. I can't thank you enough for that. Thank you, Rob. On behalf of ShopRite Partners and Caring, I'd like to present uh, this box to the store for the two of you to stay in the store. Uh, that's What number does that make? How many do you have now? Oh, we have about 10 or 11. Since the program began, every single year, this store gets on a box. Congratulations. Let's have a big hand. So why do we do it? Why do we really do this? I mean, we're a supermarket. Why are we so uh, worried about the people in the community? It's because our owners care. Our owners care about the community. And that top-down leadership comes down to us. And they instill it in us to make us care. To give us uh, the passion that we need to do this work. Um, we have people like Helene and Janet that we work with and they work with the folks right on the front lines of pantries so um, their job